So hello. <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you today a combination of SAP technologies and where SAP believe that the hardware and the software is heading, in particular in the maintenance space uh, for some of our customers. So starting with this application, this is a combination of our Visual Enterprise Viewer software together with our SAP Work Manager software. And you can see here my dashboard for the day. I'm a blue collar worker that has to go and perform some maintenance on a particular part. So I can start my day by browsing through the work orders assigned to me look at the details of a particular work order and launch a 3D model that will explain to me exactly what I need to do. So today I actually need to perform some maintenance on this machine right here. And I have a number of advanced interaction capabilities built into this device, some of which are out of the box for any device, some of which are exclusive to some Samsung devices. Um, so we'd like to showcase some of that as well. And so for example, I can just play a procedure for what I need to do to replace this particular coupling here, or I can jump in between different steps. I can look at parts availability for different parts in the model. And in particular, then, you can think of a scenario where basically I'm wearing a glove, I'm doing my maintenance, I have my tablet resting somewhere on a little stand or something, and I am basically with air gestures, I'm going to just activate that quickly, with air gestures, I can move in between the different steps without touching the screen. Like the future of a lot of these devices, wearable devices, they're all fine and good, but we basically have to replace the touch interface with new ways of communicating. So it's a combination of voice commands, touchless gestures, gestures of our own body because there are gyroscopes and things attached to us, like in some of the wearable devices I'll show you uh, now in a second. So this is, in a nutshell, something we, we can do pretty much straight away. We're combining, these are two existing SAP technologies we're combining into our work manager application in the second quarter of this year. And in the future, we, we see that this will also be translated very quickly onto devices like these other ones that we have here. So you see, we've got here, for example, a Google Glass or a View 6 M100 device. Basically, these devices are, for all intents and purposes, a full, fully featured Android device. It can run pretty much the same application I can show you here, except there's a little screen in front of my eye where I'll be able to do that work. The same voice commands, the same things. It's got a, a gesture sensor on the side. It has a microphone. It has an 8 megapixel camera, so I can do a video call and get some help from somebody else. And I can basically do even more things that I could do with, with a device like this. So we, we're already working in that direction with partnerships with, with a number of companies. And we have a number of customers with which we're going to be piloting this technology as early as next month in, a, in a, an early productive environment. So. The, the one other thing as well that I'd like to show you is the combination of augmented reality. So if you think of, if you think of the, um, the typical maintenance scenario, sometimes I may be going around trying to look for faults or trying to understand what I need to do next. In this particular case, obviously I'm repairing this pump because it's right here and it's the only one. But sometimes I arrive to the site that's a much more complex site than that. And I can use a combination of augmented reality and object recognition basically to look at the 3D model or superimpose that as I'm looking through my glasses, see the, the extra information on the screen. So here, for illustration purposes, I'm using a 2D marker. In the future, we see that this will actually just be built into the capabilities of my glasses. So as I'm looking through my glasses, rather than seeing a pump, I can see a 3D model and I can see a highlighted part that I need to replace. And with voice commands, I can go and execute all the repair procedures. I've got a similar augmented reality case here on this on this device where you can see I've got a 3D model with an alert about a problem with a crane and I've got a live feed of data and at the same time as I'm looking at the data and the live feed I can understand exactly what the problem is and why that there's an alert for that crane and understand that it's actually not a problem with the building it's a problem with proximity with another crane and this will happen actually in real life just standing at the site or potentially with remote cameras and information over in post so if you'd like to try one of the devices, I can show you, for example, some of these 3D models and how they render today. But it's basically Android, so we'll, we'll be able to run these applications very soon. The technology is here, and we're ready for it.